I mean, we've mentioned many games. Um, I just did want to quickly mention three more games that um, we don't have time to talk about in full. But um, for those of you who are interested in just knowing what games have are coming out, um, there's a new expansion coming for The Sims 4, Island Living. It's about living on an island. What did you think it was going to be about? But more specifically, like a Hawaiian <laughs> island. Um, <laughs> looks like your standard issue Sims 4 expansion pack. We can't. It's kind of a recurring theme with them. In what you're gonna get and what you're not gonna get um so spend money on that if you want to i probably won't be but i don't really play the sims 4 a lot uh lego star wars for skywalker saga so yeah there's actually another star wars game coming out but it's the one with lego and lego star wars is a superior breed of games they're brilliant and this one looks fantastic because they're basically redoing everything they're not just rehashing the original games they're, 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 they're just building them from the ground up again um which you can do very well with lego anyway and Planet Zoo. You love Planet Coaster? Well, here it is with animals. Planet Zoo. Looks brilliant. Frontier. Great developers. So glad to see them going strong after so many years. And, yeah. Well, shit. Were those your honorable mentions that you just said? Those You're are honorable mentions. <laughs> I am honored to mention okay. those games, uh, even if shit, I right. have a iffy opinion on The Sims 4. But, hey, <laughs> it's mentionable. <laughs> All right. Fuck. Well, I should I should probably just do do mine right now then too. If, you, if you're if you're willing to hear it. Go ahead. I want to hear them. <laughs> uh, so yeah, honorable mentions. We're doing this. So Deathloop, a uh, new game from Arcane Studios. Looks like two assassins just be trying to kill each other in the most creative ways possible over and over again. Sounds Why brilliant. are they doing this? I don't know. Yeah, I don't know what they're doing, but uh, I'll, I'm pretty sure it'll have that signature arcane feel with you know their awesome level design and yeah. excellent sandbox elements too. So. Uh, next game is uh, Ghostwire Tokyo, uh, new game from Tango Gameworks, the guys who made the Evil Within series, and looks like they're sticking with the horror formula. And uh, there's definitely some mystery in there with p people disappearing, only leaving their clothes around when they get whisked away to wherever the hell they're they're uh, going. And weirdly, I feel like there's a little bit of cyberpunk to it. It's like I don't know why, because in certain scenes, uh, scenes which I haven't. Mm. Uh, there are certain scenes which I haven't really seen combined much, and those yeah. two are like cyberpunk and horror. I don't see those two genres kind of like coming together that often. And the mm -hmm. last game I saw that to do that was like Observer. You don't, you know, you you don't yeah. really see those two films coming together. So yeah, that that that's pretty interesting. Yeah, that should be interesting. I, I I'm not exactly sure if it is completely cyberpunk, but there's just like portions of it that I saw yeah. that look like it. So I don't know. We'll we'll see how that goes. And uh, Avengers. Did you check out Avengers? Oh, yeah. From Crystal Dynamics? Yeah, yeah. yeah. It, uh, funnily enough, when I googled Halo Infinite to prepare for this video, I, that, I just got adverts yeah. for the Avengers game. Um, yeah. Yeah, it, it looks pretty good. Um, I'm not I'm not a big Marvel buff, I'll just say that now. I'm more, I'm more DC. No hair, no yeah. hair. I just watch DC <laughs> more. Um, but yeah, um... Marvel hasn't really had the best of runs with video games, as far as I know. I mean, I know they've got Marvel vs. Capcom, but, um, you know, Spider-Man, but, you know, you don't really get any of the other ones, like, you know, Iron Man, Captain America. So, um, yeah, that looks yeah. really interesting, and I think Marvel fans probably have been well overdue a game yeah. about the I Avengers. Like trying to, I feel like they're trying to hit it out of the park with this one. I think Spider Marvel Spider-Man on PS4 kind of went like, okay, we can make a pretty good... Yeah. Marvel game with our characters and let's see what we can do with the Avengers mm. and I know my friend's pretty pumped up for this because as soon as it, it like the day after he texted me he's like are you getting Avengers yeah and I'm like I don't know maybe yeah <laughs> like, I honestly I'm, I'm still a little cautious about it yeah if I'm I, being honest. I have a friend and she loves anything Marvel so I, I know she, she's already all over it yeah so also weirdly I feel I'm I don't know why but I'm getting like a weird Destiny vibe from it. Hmm. I don't know why. Be because they said they're going to add like regular content updates. So it Hopefully, sounds yeah. like live service y. Ah, uh, uh, yeah. Let, let's just hope it isn't the bad kind of live service. But hey, I'm, I'm still intrigued. And if I end yeah. up getting into Marvel, I'd, I'd probably give it a go. Yeah, probably check it out. And um, I had like one more honorable mention. Mm hmm. Uh, and that was Wasteland 3. I don't know, did you play Wasteland 1 or 2? Uh, I don't, I don't no, know. I've never played a Wasteland game. Okay, I never played the first one. Apparently that one came before Fallout, if I'm 
if I'm not mistaken. Mm. That was before Fallout. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, there was, yeah. like, um, yeah, Wasteland was the, uh, was developed by um, Interplay, or... Actually, yeah, I, I believe it was developed was it? by yeah. was Interplay, it? who then went on to make uh, Fallout um, after much hassling and um, stuff uh, regarding copyright, because EA was keeping a pretty tight grip on Wasteland, but... Um, yeah, interesting to see that there's a Wasteland 3 coming out. Yeah, it was it was because I remember seeing it maybe like two or three years ago. Yeah, and they they showed it, and then they're like showing dialogue options and stuff. It takes place in what did they say, Colorado, and mm-hmm. it's like snowy this time. It's not desert or anything. Yeah, and it has co-op for an RPG, which is cool, up to two people. So it also includes like. You know, you can have dialogue options with your friends and stuff. Yeah. And it could, like, lead into different areas, opportunities. Mm. And I, th- I feel like, I feel like that would be pretty cool. Because, you know, like, I, like, like cyberpunk and horror slash together, you don't get a lot of co-op RPG opportunities. You that don't. Are really engrossing. You don't. And that, and that story genuinely really intrigued me. I've just gone from knowing very little about this to being like, ooh, co-op RPG. I am in. Yeah. Because... Yeah, I, I'm always kind of looking for a few more games to potentially co-op on at some point yeah. with friends. And to be honest, um, I don't know if you ever played this game, Lord of the Rings: War in the North. Absolute pile of crap, but it was a co-op RPG. Um, and me, me and my friend, we had fun co-oping it, even if it was mainly just laughing at the game's shortcomings. Um, yeah. But overall, there just aren't that many co-op RPGs out there. So it was like, yeah. I mean, I know we have Fallout 76 now, but that's more of an Mamorpager, and by the way, E3 fans, there's more Fallout 76 coming out, like, they've got some sort of Battle Royale mode now, and human NPCs are appearing at long last, um, probably could have put that in when it was released, guys, but I, I, don't, I don't know, um... It's, it's 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 interesting though um, to see more co-op RPGs come out because I just don't really have that many. I think pretty much all my co-op games, are like FPS games or strategy games, not many of them are RPG. But like, I feel like when I feel like when you have time, you should definitely get Divinity, Original Sin, and Original Sin Two. Yes, you gotta give those a shot. I will. Yeah. I will when I finish Divine Divinity at some point. Um, but. My character's kind of got himself imprisoned to a child. I don't really know how I did it, but it happened. Do you remember where you left off on that episode? <laughs> that, yeah, well, div- literally, Divine Divinity. You, I, I, I think you can just read now that game. So shit happens to your character, and yeah, because that is all it is. Like legit. Oh, I love that game because. I just remember my favourite moment ever was my guy literally walked into a church and just got bloody bloody ganged up on by a load of ghosts. I had to run all the way back to the nearest town with a ghost on my tail, just saying, Down guards, just get rid of it. I don't have uh, mother potions again. Just 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 save me from all my issues. It's like uh, and then afterwards I just thought, why is every place I walk into in this game just so instantly hostile to me? What the hell did I do? Fucking hell. <laughs> Apart from be the player character. What was your character's name again? I forgot. I, I called him Brian Eggman. <sighs> That's right. That's right. And that was only because I had had an ACDC poster next to my Sonic the Hedgehog poster. <laughs> I thought, ah, Brian Eggman. Well, well, if you ever go back to it, let's hope his luck changes. I will I will try and conclude his story in my own time for my upcoming Divine Divinity review which will come out at some point in the future. This year? Maybe hopefully. Not. Hopefully. It's, <laughs> it's, it's, okay. it's actually quite high up the queue. Okay. Well that's good to hear. Yeah. You guys better check out Alex's channel man. Yeah. Put it in the description and all that it stuff. By the time this video is out, there may actually be a new video on my channel in which I review Euro Truck Simulator, which maybe um, you know what? I'll try to I'll try to finish this before that. You're on, you're on. I'm we'll I'm already writing the we'll review. See what so um, okay, your, your okay. gauntlet okay. is right, thrown down, and I accept. We're gonna do it. We're gonna do it. Okay, all right. Let's see if I can do this in like a day. No sleep. <laughs> 
<laughs> uh, you, you'll win easy bankers, man. <laughs> Honestly, writing reviews is probably one of the most fun things I've ever done in my life. It's it's it, it, it's fun. It's fun. I'm glad you're having fun, dude. Like it, it you know, honestly, it it really shows in your reviews because you're taking like a lot of time. Yes, you're you're welcome. Like you take a lot of time, like you know, playing the game, making sure, uh, you know, you kind of like understand everything and you relay it to us, and it's explained very well and it's very entertaining. Yeah. So I thank you for the reviews that you post. I am also just going to point out my playthrough of Euro Truck Simulator lasted over 50 hours of my life, so please watch the video. If... So please, yes. <laughs> watch I'm just kidding. You don't, you don't have to watch it if it's not your thing, but hey, if you do want to see some game reviews of really of just really miscellaneous games, because I'm literally just picking these games at random from my extensive collection of games, Come on yeah. over, and I'm, I'll be happy to say hello to you as you visit my library of games. All right, so shall we? Uh, shall we end this? Yes. E3 2019 special. Yeah. All right. So that's gonna be it for this E3 2019 special. You heard our top five games. You heard our honorable mentions, and uh, I would like to thank you, Alex, once again for joining me this year. And I hope we just keep doing this year in, year out. I look forward to the next E3 already. And I thank you very much for having me on this channel. It has been an absolute pleasure discussing these games with you. Anytime, dude. You are always welcome to, like, pick my brain, pick our brains, <laughs> talk about games and whatnot. So, uh, that'll be it. You know, I actually, it's funny, I, I wrote Stay Tuned for Honorable Mentions. In the, in, the, in the next video but it's all here in one video so we're good to go um but uh yeah i guess it's time to end it so i guess if you guys made it this far thanks for watching and as always take care and take it to 30 and alex out keep on everybody and please keep on smiling yeah all right later guys Jump